Governor, you had mentioned, and in our interview, I talked to you about Big Gretch, which I love. Uh, I just think, I think it's such a great name. And I, frankly, I think you live up to it, which is a compliment. Uh, and, and, you know, because basically what it's saying is you don't take bull. You're, you're a straight shooter, and you're not going to be, be uh, waylaid by uh, the, the wrong things, and you're just going to press ahead. As you have pointed out, you won a sweeping re-election victory over a MAGA opponent by more than 10 points. For the Thanks, thanks in large part to all the students on this campus that stayed in line for hours. You, you have a Democratic majority, as you pointed out, slim, but a majority is a majority in both houses of the state legislature for the first time in 40 years since, what, 1983. So the question I have is, what are you going to do with all that power? <laughs> well, you know, I'll tell you this. Going into the election, um, the leaders in the Senate said, you know, if you get to 52%, we are going to flip the Senate. And I'm thinking, you know, like every candidate does, i got to get to 50% plus one vote. But we get to 52. And, you know, with all the volatility of the last couple of years, you know, there were times where I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to earn re-election. Um, and, you know, so the, the, when the hours after the polls closed and we saw all these students standing on campus, waiting in line here and at Michigan State and campuses across our state getting registered and voting, um, as polls closed and they started, the results started to come in and they said, we, we flipped the Senate. I was like, oh, the opportunity. Like, I'm so excited. And then at 5.20, I got the text saying, we flipped the house, too. I don't think I slept for three days. <laughs> I was prone to breaking into sporadic bursts of maniacal laughter. Like... <laughs> I'm glad that was after the election, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Howard Dean moment. Yes. So, um, but because it's... But I also met right with both caucuses, and I said, I don't want to hear anyone say mandate. We have a two-seat majority. This is an affirmation that we're fighting for the right things, and that's what we are going to live our values in this administration in this, in this upcoming term. Today, I'm so pleased to tell you that our legislature passed a bill to include the LGBTQ community in our civil rights law. We have been fighting for this for decades. It has been a long, torturous fight. We won it today. They're also having debate around some of these um, common sense gun policies to keep our campuses and communities safer. There's a lot of work that is happening. I signed a billion dollar tax relief package earlier um, this week to, to give working people and retirees some tax relief. I mean. We're not even 60 days in, and these guys are cranking out the policy that we ran on, and so I'm excited about that. I'm going to continue to work my tail off to make sure that we can make space at the table for the Republicans. They're still, I think, trying to figure out what life is all about now that they're experiencing the minority for the first time. Um, <laughs> a lot of feelings. It's okay. <laughs> but... You know, it's important that we live the values that we ran on. We told people we're going to do these things, and now we're going to do them and show that that's why you elected us. And given the opportunity to lead, we're going we're to live up to the moment. So I'm excited about this. Um, I'm also, you know, I know how to count. So we lose one or two seats, and that majority is gone. So we've got to be really strategic and, and smart about what we do and try to do as much as we can in a bipartisan way. But um, when we can't find those votes, we're going to continue to live our values and do what we told the public we're going to do. So it's really exciting. I, n I never dreamed. I served in the legislature for 14 years, Chris. I was in the minority the whole time. When I left, I thought, I'm done with this. And I actually came and taught at the Ford School, and that's when I got my 
my excitement back when I got fired up about public policy, being around young people who were engaged. And when I tell you that Speaker Joe Tate, I met him in my class at the Ford School, and now he's the Speaker of the House of Representatives in Michigan, and I'm the governor, and we are partners, and we're working together. But the first time I met him was on this campus. And so I come here with a sense of, of optimism and excitement because of what's happening in Lansing right now, because of what's happening on this campus every day. And um, what we saw in the outcome of the election, not my victory, but the turnout and the rejection of efforts to undermine the democracy, I am optimistic. But I'm sober about it. You know, I don't have my head in the clouds. I don't think everything's perfect now that we've gotten past this election. We got a lot of hard work to do in this country, and we got to fight to protect this democracy every single day.